Rocks. You can find rocks all over the Earth's surface, and they can be found in many different shapes and colours. But rocks themselves actually come from deep within the Earth. This is why they tell us so much about our planet. Scientists have classified rocks into three main categories – igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks are the oldest of all rocks. Magma, or molten rock, exists deep under the Earth's surface and can be seen when volcanoes erupt. After the eruption, the magma cools and the rock it becomes is called igneous, specifically extrusive igneous. Sometimes magma can cool while still inside the Earth. When this happens, the igneous rock is known as intrusive, but we don't usually find it until it's exposed through weathering or erosion. Intrusive rocks are generally very coarsely grained, such as granite, and there's usually very little alignment to be seen in their crystals. Extrusive rocks, on the other hand, are very finely grained and uniform, such as basalt, and tend to have a smooth or glassy texture. They may also be fairly porous, which means they have small holes, which are caused by gases rapidly escaping during an eruption. This means they often float on water. Sedimentary rocks are formed over millions of years as various sediments have settled together at the bottoms of lakes and oceans. They're mostly formed by eroded rocks, but can even contain fossils of animals. About 70% of all the Earth's rocks are classed as sedimentary. They're characterised by a banded or layered pattern and are usually made up of many different rocks and minerals. Examples of sedimentary rocks are sandstone, limestone, chalk and clay. Sedimentary rocks will be very colourful and unique looking. There's sometimes a small space between their layers where it looks as if they've been glued together. Metamorphic rocks have been subjected to extreme heat and or pressure and have actually changed into another class of rock. For example, marble is formed when extensive heat and pressure is applied to limestone. Its entire structure becomes recrystallized and many mineral changes occur. Slate is formed from shale. Like many metamorphic rocks, slate will look as if it's formed in layers or sheets. When metamorphic rocks are formed due to pressure, their crystals seem to be arranged in layers, but they will be far more uniform than sedimentary rocks.